Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether or not your ex still has feelings for you. I'm sure, you know, there are still feelings involved, but we want to know whether those feelings are love in particular. So it is going to be a general reading, so guys, please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section below. Okay, with all of that being said, I'd like for you to take this moment to focus on your ex, their energy here, and we want to see if, and want to see and know if they still have feelings for you. And exactly what are those feelings? Okay, the Eight of Cups, of course, governed by the emotional realm of the Suit of Cups. Oh, that's too many cards. That's... Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. Cards are just flying out. The Chariot, but also in reverse. Interesting. major arcana cards here um some interesting cards actually okay so someone here has walked away from the connection okay someone he has distanced themselves and they walked away from this connection so if it's your ex that has walked away here and if they were the one to put an end to things it feels like something here has compelled them to walk away it wasn't because they wanted to end the relationship with you it wasn't because they wanted to pull uh, themselves away from you or distance themselves in fact they felt compelled to do that because um, they were fighting it within them I feel like there was some sort of emotional tug of war going on within their energy because every part of them was telling them to stay okay to stay to stick it out in the connection but there was something inside of them that um, was asking them to pull away and this was because your ex and their energy feels like they still have some soul searching to do so um, I feel like there's still some growing evolving or some energy of transformation okay that needs to take place within them in order for this connection to even have worked entirely you may feel as though they have turned their back on you you may feel as though they were the ones to have walked away and you were the ones to have watched them you know leave but to me it's like you know there is this is a card of loss and disappointment and there's such like a sadness and a heaviness to this card so it's with a heavy heart that they did pull away but it's important for you to know that they have to embark on a journey okay especially with the hermit here you've got the chariot they need to do some growing and some evolving we all have our own separate journey on our journeys we meet some very wonderful some very interesting characters but each one is destined and has a purpose um, and they play a role in our life and your person's journey and your journey for the time being guys is one in which you must walk it alone okay this is why neither of you are accompanying each, each other on the journey here because the both of you are going through some serious um, changes it feels very exciting okay it may feel a little bit uncomfortable because you're growing you're evolving as are they and unfortunately this is the part of the journey and it just so happens to be this way that you must take alone okay and this is why this person felt compelled to walk away here so the nearby river he symbolizes of course emotional awareness and your person knows that Walking away from you, okay, was never going to be easy. In fact, you have to know that this is probably the hardest thing they ever had to do, okay? And even a part of them, it, it's not an easy journey. And a part of them is not necessarily, they feel lost. Not having you in their life or having walked away from you, they feel really lost at sea here. They feel lost, um... 
but the fact that the night the moon here it illuminates the night sky so it's like they're allowing their emotions to guide them onto the journey here onto the journey of healing okay so no a lot of things haven't necessarily turned out the way that you had expected with this connection okay not for you not for them okay they had they had certain expectations for this connection they had certain visions um, that they held for this connection and unfortunately things didn't necessarily things didn't necessarily turn out the way that you guys envisioned it right but with the eight of cups energy the choice is to you know put the past behind you here in order to move forward whether with or without them so do they still have feelings for you here yes you have the eight of cups and you've got the next two cards in reverse they're sort of they're allowing their emotions to control them a lot more than they actually should be controlling them okay your person i feel like is very emotionally moody um and it seems as though right now they're not doing so well so especially if this is a recent breakup guys and you might not be you might not have heard from them and that you guys haven't communicated recently maybe because i feel like with the energy they've gone into hermit mode they've really shut down and as i've mentioned they're completely overwhelmed by their emotions so much so that they're allowing their emotions to consume them like walking away from you was something very it was very difficult for them and it's probably one of the hardest things they ever had to do here and they thought that they could just avoid some of those emotions that are going on inside of them but they can't and right now they're feeling everything so just because they're not communicating with you it doesn't mean that you know they're doing fine without you in fact it's quite the opposite but i feel like they're so consumed by their emotions that they're not really taking any other action they're also shutting themselves away from everyone i feel i don't feel like they're they're not necessarily catching up with their friends or their family they're not their normal self they're very withdrawn and i feel like because your person is really prone to emotional outbursts or just someone who is quite emotionally moody to me i feel like they've sort of they like to withdraw and kind of like sit around and mope or maybe indulge in a bit of a pity narrative again like they're not even aware why it is they made the decision to move away there's something inside of them that felt like they were compelled to do it because we did speak about earlier on in the reading you know the journey of soul searching so they absolutely still have a lot of feelings for you but notice with the eight of cups it can be an energy of okay well something is missing so they're gone in search for what it is that, that's missing but that missing link it has nothing to do with you it has to do with them and their journey and their soul soul searching and that's what's missing once they find it collect it they will come back here and they'll be more of a not a complete person but they'll be more ready here because no one is really incomplete right so moodiness tantrum emotional turmoil a stressful situation is what's happening with their energy right now so a lot of difficult feelings swimming in their heart they don't want to move on from you so even if they have moved on from you even if they have walked away from you emotionally they're still with you emotionally their heart still belongs to you okay and like i said it's so many difficult swimming so many difficult feelings swimming around in their heart and in their energy that they're finding it really hard to even communicate with their closest friends and their closest family and they're doing a lot of thinking right now a lot of feeling as well okay so once they sort of are able to process those feelings a little bit better i do see that they're going to come out of hermit mode hermit mode kind of energy and i do see that there is going to be communication between you and this ex here okay because to me it's like they don't want to communicate right now because they're kind of embarrassed by their decision to have walked away or it's like a fear and embarrassment it's a humiliation they don't want to be perceived a certain way here and right now they're very lonely they're feeling very lonely they've got a lot of emotions here um, that they're going through they may be communicating with other people okay but it's in an effort to get you off their mind and btw it's not helping okay it's just not helping because even though they're communicating with someone else all they're thinking about is you and how you know to get possibly you back 
there is something here that is kind of keeping them from opening their heart or even reaching out and communicating to you and i feel like it may be a feeling of shame um, embarrassment or regret so once they sort of process those emotions here i do see communication coming in and um it just feels it's such a re-energized kind of communication it feels like they'll have a lot to tell you um it feels like there's like they're shooting off a lot of text messages like you might receive several text messages at once like one after the other you may even have several missed calls from them one after the other because i feel like they will have done a lot of thinking and i see them very emotionally courageous okay very emotionally courageous i love the fact that death he has um, appeared in the reading for you because this to me feels like the both of you uh remember how i spoke about this journey you've gone through a journey you've shed your skin you've left the past behind you you're not the same person you were yesterday or the day before that you're a different person as are they and you're coming back together the both of you you're so much stronger and so much more you know resilient um and so much more brave than you were before and now that the two of you are coming together it's like it's a new chapter, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, and you're both a lot more ready because I feel like there's this such a transformative energy with the death card. So this applies to you as individuals and also to the connection. So if you do come back together and if you do decide to work on things, whatever it is that you've gone through will have made you and the connection all the more stronger for it. And it just feels like the both of you are so much more ready. Okay, and you're so much more confident within yourselves and with what the two of you have here. So yes, your ex still has feelings for you. They will be able to communicate this a lot more clearly in the future. Right now, they're still swimming in a sea of emotions. Okay, once they rise to the surface, they'll be back. All right, guys. Um, and there's a lot of healing. Let me tell you, all this, this journey, these last couple of weeks, months, Yes, for some of you there's so much healing okay that will come place from this because i know a lot of this was done in isolation i can see that um in isolation and a period of confusion but you don't understand the healing transformative energy that will come from all of this okay and they'll definitely be opening their heart to you Alright guys, so thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. For those of you interested in reading, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, bye for now.